Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I love growing arugula and I grow them every season. So recently I did a few arugula videos uh, where I grow just a ton of arugula in a raised bed. And a few people have asked how I collected so many seeds to grow like that all the time. So uh, I've done a few videos on how to collect arugula seeds already. Uh, I'll try to link you but we're going to do it again so you can see the exact process of how to bulk collect seeds so that you can have seeds to grow for a long time. So here I have already started uh, the process so I have a bunch of uh, arugula that have sprouted seeds and they're dried now. And so I begin the collecting process. I cut the arugula seeds and I allow them to dry and then I put them in a bucket and then I just uh, squish the, the the shells and they all fall in here so uh, I'll show you what the arugula seeds look like we'll collect a few and then uh, I'll show you how to uh, uh, get the remaining so that you can save the seeds okay so here is the arugula bed that I couldn't used up and so the rest went to seed and uh, so the seeds look like this this is the young seeds right here these are the flowers once it gets pollinated it becomes these pods right here these are the seed pods and then the, you will allow the seed pods to stay on the plant until it gets a little brown like uh, this color right here. Uh, you don't want to get uh, the color too brown and too dry because at this stage anytime you touch it it's going to fall off and then it's, you know, the seeds will just fall and then it will grow again. So you want it to be around like this, kind of still a little green. You want to cut those uh, green seeds and then allow it to dry uh, in a somewhere out, outside in your balcony or anywhere, it doesn't matter. So here it is, just cut it like that and then let it sit for a few days until they dry completely and the seeds will just fall right out. Okay, so when the seeds are dry, you can just uh, take the seed pods right here and you can just squish it and then the seed will come right out, you see? There's your seeds right there. And uh, if you do this uh, one at a time, it could take a very long time to do. And uh, these green seeds are not ready, so you have to let them dry a little bit more until they get to the brown color or, or like a straw color. That's, that's when they're completely dry and when you barely touch it, it'll fall right out. Okay, so once they're completely dry, they would look like that, very much like straw. And so you grab a handful of the seed uh, that you collect it and you put it into a bucket and then you just go like this just just uh, you know try to get the shells to fall in and the remaining just to uh, you throw those away so when you do that you see uh, the, the seeds and the seed pods will fall into the bucket and then you toss the rest away and then these here you just throw those away and here we have a bunch of seeds and the shells and so we need to separate the seeds from the shells okay now we need to separate the shells from the seeds and if you have some kind of strainer with uh, tiny holes for the seeds to fall through that would work best so I found this here for frying and uh, this is gonna work really well so we're just going to take the seeds here and then we just put it in here like that shake it a little bit and you see and the remaining shells we just toss out <laughs> okay so the strainer will only do so much and you can actually just save it like this without having to do anything else because you can just throw this in the raised bed next year and they will grow um, but if you want to take the remaining of all of the bits of that are not seeds away uh, you can also do a, a one last thing so you take a container and you just put that in like that and you can either use the wind or just blow into it you see the, that's just the wind right there so blow into it you see so the seeds will just fly off and the shells will just fly off leaving you just the seeds because the seeds are heavier
and there is the seeds and so now you just store the seeds and then save it to next year and then grow it during the springtime okay one last thing i forget to mention uh, it's better to use a square tray than a round tray because once you're ready uh, it's easier to pour the seeds into your bag or anything where you need to save it so i have a bag right here so you see the round tray would be much harder to pour in than the square one or if you have a funnel that that will probably work the best but i'm gonna have so many seeds so that's okay okay so look at that this is our seed for the season this is gonna last probably a few years there's lots and lots of seeds so um and i still have more in the garden so this is all i'm gonna collect but um that's it guys that's how that's how you collect seeds and save it for next year it takes very little time it's very easy to do and it'll save you a ton of money thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe